obviously uh, you guys didn't come out maybe and play like you wanted to from the from the get go. What was maybe the key to turning things around in the second half from your perspective? Um, when we got when we came in the locker room, coach kind of got kind of got into us a little bit. Um, he challenged us. He challenged us to play harder. Us to you know, rebound the ball against a smaller opponent. Us, you know, play harder on defense. And I think in the second half, we really turned things around. We really got going back to playing how we used to play. One of the things that when you read about the NIT is the teams that advance are the teams that want to be here because it's obviously not the same as playing in the NCAA tournament. What I mean, the mentality of the team coming into this was. It, did you feel like you guys were excited to play in this? Um, we were definitely disappointed not to be in the NCAA tournament, but I think right now we're just looking at it as another way for us to just be together for a little bit longer. You never know how many more games we have, especially with elimination games and you know, just being together. It's probably been the last couple of weeks or however long it is that we're all going to be together. Um, so I mean, we're just kind of just enjoying that. Your season, kind of, you, know, you had some obviously really great games, high, high points and low points. What's been the key maybe for you mentally just to kind of, kind of keep, you know, progressing and kind of not being, not falling into a rut when maybe things have gone, gone badly? Um, just take it one game at a time. Um, I mean, you can't control what you can control. I mean, you can't, like, you, you can't really get stuck. If you have a bad game, you got to move on. Um, short-term memory loss. I mean, you have, it's easy when there's a next practice and you're focusing on the next opponent right away. So it's kind of out of your mind. And you kind of just got to have short-term memory and just get it out as quickly as possible. Is that something that maybe you grew with over the season? Was there, was there points early where you were frustrated at all? Or? Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, uh, this was an up and down season for me. Um, and it, it was, it could be easy to get stuck in a rut, but um, I was able to, you know, get out of it. And I mean, it's definitely something that I've learned to be able to take away from it. After that Iowa game, it seemed like something, the, the road game, where you didn't play much in the second half, it kind of seemed like something changed for you at that point. Mm -hmm. What do you, you know, you talked about kind of just taking practice, you know, I know you talked before about practice, maybe taking it a little bit, different, approaching it differently. Is there anything else you can look at and say, this is something I did differently than what I was doing at that point? No, I, I just, you know, I can't, try to come in with the same mentality every game or every day. Um, because with that same mentality or that same consistency, and that consistency becomes a habit, and that habit you know, carries itself into every game and every practice, and then it becomes easy. So, I mean, I just kind of, you know, want to switch a couple things up. But, I mean, it's working out pretty well. Juwan say anything to you guys at halftime or before this game? I mean, if, you know, if you lose, it's his last game. What kind of his message at all? Do you have anything? No, he's more of like a silent leader. We, we lead by his, his example. Um, I mean, we go as he goes. Fantasy this year, I feel like, is, over the course of the year, really gotten better. Yeah. Kind of been the key to you guys in the last month of the season here. I think you've won five of six. What have you seen out of him individually that, that's been impressive? His confidence. Um, He's not afraid to take and make big shots. He, I've seen his confidence grow. Early in the season, he was kind of uh, you know looking over the sidelines, um, trying to you know, have coach call the plays. But now he's kind of getting more confident. He's, you know he's making decisions out there, and it's, it's paying off.